Originally, I was going to present the following sketch without mm -hmm. prepping the audience at all, having you suffer a very bumpy ride through my random creative process. But my dear wife cares for you deeply, <laughs> so I have put this together this, this preamble. Mr. Hall, Welch, and Forber issued a challenge to us all on the Blast from the Fast Facebook page. They dared us to write scenes with all dialogue in limerick form, save for a few haikus just thrown in just for fun. Well, the gauntlet was thrown down. So I took a well-known story, Romeo and Juliet, and wrote the scenes in limericks with Anna Pests filling in for I Ams. But my muse compelled me to arrange the scenes backwards. And then it only made sense to reverse the rhyme and rhythm scheme of the limericks as well. <laughs> Some haiku was called for, so I set upon reversing that rhythm scheme. <laughs> Only to realize that, duh, the haiku pattern is a palindrome. <laughs> of course, I included all your favorite quotations from Shakespeare's text. But such a project would be sorely incomplete if I didn't also take a well-known song, American Pie, and scatter its lyrics throughout the play. <laughs> also in reverse order. Oh, no. Got that? <laughs> So tonight, we, the Clister Ficken players, present to you our production of The Tragedy of Juliet, Romeo, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Playing the role of Juliet the Dogs Out is the brilliant Heather. None other than the multi-talented Stephen Hull portrays Romeo over in the clover. Omnis Present, serving as the chorus and diverse characters, is brought to life by Ian Allen, who's very tall. <laughs> and as usual, I will be playing the fool. The fool's scap. <clears throat> Juliet and Romeo are dead. <laughs> Juliet and Romeo are dead. Scene 9. The epilogue. There's no story so tragic, I bet, of the many you know, not a tale more woe than of Romeo and his Juliet, the pair most dysfunctional yet. <laughs> Witness now how our two lovers cried, while most poet write dreams, William Shakespeare, he schemes to orchestrate their suicide. This'll be the dark day that they die. Mm. <laughs> Scene eight. Romeo Montague, believing Juliet Capulet to be dead, has purchased poison for the purpose. Though death, here is mud in your eye. <clears throat> the drugs, they're quick, and I feel kind of sick. That sure isn't whiskey and rye. Now thus, with a kiss, I will die. <laughs> Juliet and dies. <laughs> Kisses Juliet and dies. <laughs> My future with Romeo is toast. You want happy news? No. This girl sings the blues. Happy Dagger, I give up the ghost. Then I catch the last train for the coast. <laughs> <laughs> Our play starts with these two in a hearse. If you think it's a stunt to turn things back to front, here's the plus when it's told in reverse. By the end, there'll be none the worse. <laughs> Scene seven. <laughs> Juliet meets with Friar Lawrence, hoping to get out of an arranged marriage to Paris and to be free to marry Romeo by simulating her own death with a potion. You'd leave Paris for him if you could. Consume you this vial, 
then after a while, twill look like you've left us for good. Now how could that be misunderstood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father, you risk all for me. This friar's no chicken. He helps me to sicken. Oh, Romeo, my death sets us free. Here's drink, and I drink to thee. Scene six. <laughs> it would appear that while writing this scene, I was consuming my own special potion. This is a stanza from the adaptation filmed by, by Kurosawa. <laughs> the haiku meter is the same backwards noting the syllable count. <laughs> the syllable count is the same backwards noting the haiku meter. <laughs> <laughs> Heather and Steve are thankful that I have Juliet and Romeo each speaking complete limericks without jumping back and forth within each verse. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> One verse at a time's not so rough. But if we were to switch... Every line? That's a bitch. Still, you know he'd say, that's not enough. And switching each syllables. Tough. <laughs> Scene five. The family feud results in Romeo's friend Mercutio accepting a challenge from Tybalt, a Capulet. <clears throat> Such rancor that oh sorry, first I have ooh ha 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 oh 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 <laughs> Such rancor that Tybalt arouses. Though we thought him of tool, we are both fortune's fool. I don't care what your family espouses. A plague o'er both of your houses. No! I see Satan, he laughs with delight. As he is casting his spell, he condemns me to hell. The flames glowing high through the night. My own hands, hands have engendered my plight. Scene four. Oh. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Seek out Friar Lawrence <coughs> in order to wed. Vested power thou hast. We've just come from the dance, not yet getting the chance to ensure that our romance will last. My heart's eight miles high, falling fast. Take, uh, no, I said that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take this ring. May it serve as a token. With this band, choose to yield. Your heart's secrets revealed. Let the words of the angels be spoken, and all the church bells be unbroken. Oh. <clears throat> One more thing Aphrodite commends. You'll discover great joys with these marital toys. <laughs> <laughs> May their tops and your bottoms be friends. <laughs> Bringing violent delight to your ends. Scene <laughs> 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 three. That was 
<laughs> Romeo goes to the Capulet house hoping to speak with Julia. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> our uh, our iambic pentameter meter, we've put it to rest. Now we speak Anapes. Oh. There is nothing that woos the girls sweeter. Whisper limericks next time you greet her. <laughs> Soft, what lights breaking through from the east? <laughs> Juliet is the sun, methinks would be fun to be forming the two-backed beast, <laughs> soon as we are sufficiently greased. <laughs> I'm afraid you cannot be seen. I'm up here above. Wherefore art thou, my love? Is that you in a coat from James Dean? <laughs> Jester, climb up and make me your queen. Your diction has got my blood freezing. I can't bear it no more. Your misuse of wherefore is a linguistic crime of high treason, because wherefore connotes for what reason. The Shakespearean jargon's to blame. Wherefore? It means why? Let the old senses die. Why not just call a rose by its name? Call it elsewise, it won't smell the same. <laughs> I'm afraid we have gotten off topic. We have surely lost sight of our lover's delight. The knight's cloak has turned passion myopic. Our desire has shrunk microscopic. <laughs> Tis almost morn. Do not tarry. With our courtroom adjourned and no verdict returned, if your chastity is your adversary, then she'll suffer defeat when we marry. Our parting is such a sweet sorrow. If I have to de descend on this, you can depend <coughs> that I'll try to text you tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow creeps in the petty pace. Wrong day day play. Day Until day the day last day. syllable. Wrong Recorded play. Time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that I'll try to text you tomorrow. But first, have you a rope I could pull? <laughs> Scene two. Lord Capulet, father of Juliet, throws a party, which Romeo crashes. <clears throat> what lady is that leaving dear? She is hanging so tight on the cheek of the knight like a jewel in an Ethiop's ear. Beauty too rich for using, I fear. Could hers be the flower I seek? Flash that inconstant moon. <laughs> and my heart starts to swoon. Zoons, this butt of love's mine in a week, and my glove will be touching that cheek. Ooh, hey! <gasps> you lonely and bronken young buck. Your pink incarnation might see some inflation. Ooh. You seldom pick up with that truck? Well, you are no more out of luck. So I hope you will give me a go. Let's both kick off our shoes, dig those rhythm and blues. The book of love's telling you so. Can I teach you how to dance real <laughs> slow? <laughs> the prologue, scene one. <laughs> Two households, two, two households, two, two, two households, so fortunate, sight. <laughs> uh, these are <laughs> lovers, star-crossed, both these children are lost, while in dignity they are alike, both houses feel Azrael's strike. Juliet touched him deeply inside, <laughs> our lad Romeo, a long, long time ago, with his poison had widowed his bride. On that day, their sweet music died. To Verona we must say bye-bye. When next one of you eats a few slices of pizza, don't think I'm an American. Why? Because it's really Italian pie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
live with that. Two weeks instead of two years.